In this video, I'm going to tell you five reasons why guitarists, bassists, and anyone interested in recording at home or on the go should consider this. Coming up. Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ron Kilio. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. When I first started recording at home, my system, like many 80s kids slash 90s teens, was a cassette four-track recorder. And of course I didn't know a thing about recording at that time. I would just plug my guitar straight into the input jack and press record. And if I wanted an overdriven sound, I would plug in my DOD super distortion pedal and then straight into the four track recorder. And that sounded horrendous. I eventually learned how to mic a guitar amp and EQ things. Fast forward to 2001, I got a Mac, a Pro Tool setup, you know, the Digi 001 interface that everyone had back in the day. And that's when I really got into home recording. And that's when I got into recording guitars. I was experimenting with miking different cabinets. I bought a, one of those Line 6 pod kidney beans, uh, tried various new modeling plugins, etc. But nowadays, we have it so easy. With everyone using DAWs at home now, we have a lot of accessible and affordable gear options out there to basically make our own high quality professional recording studio, even in like a tiny bedroom. When I think about it, there hasn't really been an all-in-one easy solutions for guitarists in particular, to get into home recording, until now. The good folks over at IK Multimedia let me check out their new audio interface, the Axe.io. And to tell you the truth, I'm kind of blown away by this. This is something as a guitar player I wish I had when I first got into home recording. So any guitarists out there that are new to recording or someone looking to put together a home studio or portable studio, stay tuned for this because I'm gonna share with you five reasons why you should consider getting this unit for your studio. Real quick, here are some of the basic features of this interface. It's a standard USB 2.0 interface. 24-bit, 192 kilohertz analog digital conversion, which is pretty standard these days. It's got two Class A mic pre's with 48 volt phantom power for your condenser mics. And that's where most audio interfaces at this price range stop with the features. Uh, but being a guitar focused interface, here's where it gets really interesting. So the first reason why this is a cool interface, it's got an onboard tuner. Honestly, this is probably my favorite feature I can't tell you how many times I've recorded tracks and I didn't have a tuner around. You know, a lot of times I'll record straight into the amp with no pedal board so I don't have a tuner at my feet or anything. Or sometimes I'll just simply be using a plugin and I have to hunt for the, the tuner feature inside the software, which isn't usually the most accurate tuner. And then sometimes I'll have to hunt for my one clip-on tuner. Snark Baby, which is usually in some gig bag or a guitar case in another part of the house. So having a tuner literally right at my fingertips is a godsend and makes my workflow that much easier. It's super accurate and it's as reliable as my favorite pedal tuner. So this feature alone is worth the price of admission for me. Okay, number two. So I mentioned that this is a two channel interface. And while that might not be ideal for someone who wanted to record drums or a full band, it's perfect for guitarists and bassists, especially because of the features that are on this channel one. So on channel one, they have something they call the Z-tone circuit. What this is is a variable impedance, which in layman's terms is a way to control how your guitar reacts with the modeling software. There's also an active passive switch, which is convenient if you use active pickups, which can be much higher output than passive pickups. What the rep told me, it's actually not a pad uh, that brings down the volume. It actually just bypasses the gain stages of the preamp, so it keeps the signal as pristine as possible. The Pure and JFET switch is a subtle enhancer. Basically, Pure is like a transparent signal and the bold JFET is kind of like giving it a little more sonic enhancement. A little more oomph, shall we say.
Okay, the third reason why I like this is the amp out jack. This is another cool feature and another one that I haven't really seen in other audio interfaces. With the move from tape to computer-based recording, it's made it a lot easier to not commit to anything that we play. We can replace everything at the touch of a button or a few keyboard shortcuts. And guitarists, me included, can be kind of indecisive when it comes to deciding on guitar tones. Back in the day, you would have to manually replay and record your parts, you know, tweak the different amps, try different pedal setups every time, etc. But now we can record a DI part just one time and reamp that recorded part out of the computer into different amps, different pedals, and we can tweak it till our heart's delight, but it makes it a little more consistent and a faster workflow. So before you would need to get a box like this. This is a reamp box made by Radial. Uh, it basically takes the balanced, relatively low impedance output from our computer and brings it up to the unbalanced high impedance input of the amp or pedal or whatever we want to plug into. But IK Multimedia was kind enough to put that technology right in the box. Fourth reason, uh, there's a couple cool additional features uh, specifically for guitarists. The Axe.io also includes two expression pedal inputs in the back. You know, many different modeling softwares like Amplitube, which this actually comes with, and I'll get into that in a sec. A lot of these software have the option to use like a virtual wah-wah pedal or a volume pedal or expression control within the software, kind of for a realistic pedal board-like experience. Uh, and before, you had to buy a special MIDI controller to be able to control the parameters. Now you can simply use any expression pedal that has a TRS jack. In addition, another great feature is this assignable preset knob. Uh, so you don't have to go into the software itself to click between your saved presets. You can easily do it from the front of the interface, which is another way of being convenient and another way that they've streamlined uh, a guitarist's workflow. The knob works seamlessly, obviously, in Amplitude, but you can assign it within any kind of plugin or other software uh, via MIDI. Now, the last reason why you should consider the Axe.io is the price and what you get with it. So this retails for 350 US dollars, which in comparison to other two input audio interfaces is kind of right in the middle. But considering all the features that it comes with, I think it's priced accordingly and still less than something like a, a UAD Apollo Twin or an Apogee Duet. Some of you may say, well, I can get a Focusrite Scarlet, which is a, also a two input interface uh, for less. But don't forget the features that you are getting with this, plus the software that's bundled with it, which is totally, totally worth the price. IK Multimedia is, of course, known for their Amplitube software, and they include Amplitube Deluxe, which comes with 140 models of amps, cabs, pedals, mics, etc. More than enough to have you covered for any tonal situation, believe me. And I'm gonna go on record in this video saying that Amplitube is probably my favorite all around guitar rig modeling plugin that I've used. And I've used many different other ones like Amp Farm, Guitar Rig, Bias Amp, and all the UAD guitar amps. And as an all-encompassing, all-in-one plugin, uh, Amplitube is just awesome. You know, the sounds are totally usable. The user interface is very intuitive. You can plug a bass into it because it's got presets for bass amps and bass effects. Uh, and the library of additional add-ons is huge. But wait, there's more. You also get recording software, Ableton Live 10 Lite, which not only allows you to record audio, but also comes with uh, virtual instruments and effects. Basically everything you need to create music. So you don't need to drop money on Pro Tools or Logic. This is more than enough to get you started. But on top of that, they give you software plugins to mix and master with. Uh, 10 of IK Multimedia's most popular effects from their T-Rex suite. You get 
compressors, EQs, a tape delay, microphone modeling, and mastering plugins. When you buy the Axi O, you basically have a fully functional Pro Studio ready to go. I think it's a fantastic deal, and I'm kind of jealous that I didn't have this when I started. <laughs> okay guys, if you're interested in learning more about this, link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, a social media influencer. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, guitar lessons, behind the scenes vlogs, click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.